This week on Automotive Tips. Brought to you by Like an Auto. What is up, you guys? I am over here working on a Land Rover Discovery. About to uh, put the Cadillac converter on. I'm only making this video because there are no videos for a Cadillac converter for this type of car. The blue paint is coming off. That's why I look two different colors. Well, three different colors if you count the black. But yeah, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Let's go under the car. I just got a three-time jack. Jacked it up a little. I'm pretty, well, I'm, I'm average size for a person. Usually I can slide under the car without jacking it up. But jacking it up do help a little. The tires is not even off the ground. It's just the frame of the car jacked up just a little. Let's go under the car and see what we're doing today. Okay, what we're doing today is putting on this Cadillac converter. As you know, this is a do-it-yourself channel. Like an auto, always doing stuff myself to any and every car. So, I got a few tools here that I was using. Just the basic tools. Okay, I might, I'm is under the car, so it's like hard to show you guys all of this stuff. But it is super, super stripped. Let me show you guys where I'm at. Oh, the light just cut off, so let me get the light to cut back on, and I'm going to show you guys the other side. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, got the battery on the charger. I just want to show you guys what I did. Exactly. I t actually cut off the bolt that was under there and the reason I cut it off you guys can see this because it was extremely script stripped this is the end that post have been screwing off see how crazy that look it's pretty much rusted together with the nut so what I did and I, I did this is actually warm because I did heat it up sprayed it with some um spray before I um got to you know getting to it I sprayed it with spray to loosen up the bolt I did that like two weeks before I even got started on the bolt after I sprayed it I um heated it up sprayed it again and you see how that looked like it was made like that like it come together like that this is the other end right here stripped completely stripped so there was no way for me to screw this off so I just went ahead and cut it off well um, and call it a day because I don't got time to be you know look at this crazy crazy stripped so I'm just gonna cut them all off buy some new bolts it's a lot easier and it's a lot better because you don't want to use these stripped rusted bolts anyway for your new project so just toss them in the garbage um, I'm gonna show you how I did that if you um, have any questions on how I did it I'm gonna just show you how I did it it's not that bright under here because the light that I was using the battery died I'm gonna just use this battery real quick just to show you guys what I was doing okay here go the let me show you guys the exhaust pipe and the Cadillac converters. There's two in the front, boom, boom, one in the back. Two screws to each pipe, which is, I'm gonna just say three pipes because it's, you know, three. Okay, up here, can you guys see that up here? Is the back pipe. And you see right there is where I cut off the pipe okay and I, it's hanging like that because i have to cut the other side i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to cut the front pipes this is front pipe this is one side this is the other side because they actually go up there towards the engine so we're going to try to get those off with um some screw with you know 13 millimeter with the 13 millimeter um it's the size and i actually got this for strip bolts you guys can see it um, for strip bolts I got that as well I am gonna buy new O2 sensors that is oxygen sensors 
they help with your car fuel economy and let your engine know how much fuel need to go in your car and that's where this these little holes is right here boom 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 it's upper and down o2 sensors the reason i'm going to replace it because i just actually replaced those but as inspection when i was coming under here you see that that is a o2 sensor right there okay and that shit is horrible it's pretty easy to put on all they do is screw in you screw them in right there and plug it up to the top but you see this one where you plug it up it's completely melted this is all chewed up like somebody didn't get it to it and ate it so i'm just going to replace all four uh mine as well because i'm replacing the whole two cadillac converters with this car i know i'm talking a lot but with this car the cadillac converters is dual so i can't just buy one and put one on when you buy it it automatically come with two so who cares it wasn't that much money but um i'm gonna get back to it i'm gonna let you guys know what i'm doing because i don't have my original camera so i'm not gonna film everything i'm just gonna cut you guys can see that the other side exactly how i cut this side go up to the front try to take it off with the 13 millimeter if the 13 don't work i'm gonna just cut it fuck it call it a day no, nobody got time for all that okay here go the other side simple it is a little crack that you can get your tool in there to cut it i'm gonna show you guys what i cut it with you can cut it with anything honestly i don't know if you see this but yeah you can get in there and cut that so i'm gonna get to it i'll be back when it's off you feel me when it's off but before I get into that, let me show you guys what I'm using to cut it. Just this simple tool right here. This is a Ryobi. Um, just some some slight. You feel me? I'm using the iPad camera. I'm sorry, you guys. I left my professional camera in the crib. This is a metal cutting blade. I already had these in stock, so I'm just using. I got it from under the car, finally. Whew. So the new one is the same size as the old one. Before I put it back on, I'm going to knock some rust off from under there and clean up a little bit under there before I put it back on. Uh, remember I was telling you the O2 sensors go right there. This one I never replaced, so I should have a new O2 sensor laying around somewhere. These three I did replace this the side that was rattling and i heard stuff and let me show you what the ultimate sensor looked like from this side okay. see how i don't think your o2 sensor is supposed to be dead to in or have that type of you know nastiness on it the O2 sensor looking this crazy let me show y'all can you see that look at all that stuff inside of there and it's dented in ah and it's brownish i don't know if you guys can see it's brownish you got a lot of stuff in it it's dented in it look horrible so i went ahead and cut this off I'm going to replace this. These are the new ones that I just put on the car. That was a new one I just put on the car. So that's how you know I needed a new Cadillac converter. This is how these look. Brownish. Super, super black. So I'm going to replace this one. And I'm, I might as well replace all four. So before I replace all, before I put this completely back inside of the um into the car i'd rather put the o2 scissors in and then disconnect it once it's up because it's harder to do it while it's in there trust me because when i did the other o2 scissors without taking this out pain in my ass you feel me so i'm gonna go try to buy 
all the ultra sensors hopefully it don't cost that much i'm gonna go buy that and um buy some cleaner because this ultra sensor up here i don't know if you guys can see it i can't see it this one right right there it is super super oily like engine oil let me show you Ugh. engine oil I'm not going to reuse this. I'm going to get a new one. But I am going to reuse the one that's hooked on to the car. So I'm going to clean that off. I'm going to get some spray or something while I'm at the store to clean that off. Um, I no longer need this old piece. I am going to save it for the junkyard. Y'all already know what I'm doing.